Good morning. It's Monday, and I hope you had a lovely weekend. The weather was wonderful. Uh, this week, we finish the Sermon on the Mount. Specifically, we are going through uh, chapter 7, verse 7 to 11 today. If you want to go ahead and get your Bible out and um, open up to that. I'll go ahead and start with uh, Monday morning's prayer. I think I'm going to do the one on, where is it, page 44. I like that one. Here we go. I've got my favorites. Uh, oh, just and faithful God and Heavenly Father, I praise and honor you from the depths of my heart that you have allowed me to rest and sleep safely this past night and that through your fatherly love, you have awakened me again refreshed and healthy. It is my heartfelt prayer that you would graciously protect me, together with my dear family and all Christians, from all evil and danger to the body and to the soul, that every day I may be found in your will. I commend myself, my body and soul, heart, intellect, will, and thoughts, all my efforts, my life and death, and everything that I am and have, into your divine protection. May your holy angels be and remain by me that no misfortune of body or soul may assail me. This grant me for the sake of Jesus Christ, your dear son. Amen. I like that. Uh, so today, what we are reading is, uh, it's titled, Ask and It Will Be Given. And it has to do with prayer. Uh, I think... Uh, we have to get it out of our heads that God is somehow stingy or tight-fisted with his mercy, his grace. He delights in bestowing his blessings and giving us his blessings, so much so that he gives his blessings to all. Just like Father um, Jerry said yesterday in his uh, sermon that... Uh, you know, the rain and the sun, the rain falls and the sun shines on, on all, you know. So not just the people who are his children, who are um, in Christ, but everyone. Everyone, whether they believe or not, his enemies wake up and breathe in his air. They drink his water. They are living on his earth and being blessed, whether they believe it or not. He loves to give that much. So this is what that's about. Let's, let's go ahead and read it. Uh, chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks it will be opened. Or which one of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? This is the word of the Lord. And that last line, it's... Uh, Verse 11, if you then who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children. Uh, evil, he's talking about uh, sinful, sin, someone who is not perfect like he. So if you who are sinful, if you know how to give people that you love what they most desire, imagine how he knows and how he loves to give. Uh, think about at uh, Christmas or birthday when you of someone that you love and you think of the perfect gift. You know exactly what they want. And my daughter Sophie did this for me for Mother's Day. She she knew she knew my heart and I think she had heard me say a long time ago how much I loved something. And she had the perfect gift and it was, it just blew me away, and she was so tickled, tickled, tickled to give it to me. And um, that's our father. Oh, and by the way, it was a brownie pan that has, that makes only um, square, all corner pieces brownies. It's cut, it's got all of these sections in it, so every single brownie is a corner piece. So, 
Anyway, that's what that was. And she was tickled. So that's the same with what, what he's saying here with uh, verse 11. And he's, and he's perfect. He knows what's right for you, what will, um, what will be good and healthy for you. Imagine. So uh, kids have asked me before, well, if he already knows what we want, why do we have to ask? And that's a good question. Um, everybody asks that question, I think, at some point. Because, you know, it, it, it sounds like that makes sense. Why, why doesn't he just give it to us? Well, if he just gave us automatically every single thing that we need and want without ever having to ask, we wouldn't really think about where it's coming from or why we have it. It's kind of like the people who are not in relationship with God and they just, they're just given things and they are not grateful to him for that. There's not a relationship and that's what he desires the most is a relationship to get to know us. So this, uh, Verse 7, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened. Those verbs, ask, seek, knock. In the uh, original language, it in Greek, it implies kind of a continual, uh, as in a keep on asking, keep seeking, keep knocking, keep doing it. Not just the once. Keep doing it. Because he wants you to continually come to him for every single thing because when you do that you start to change your thinking you change here and you understand that it's all coming from him and the other thing about that is uh, oh my you know what another thing that I've that I've been asked is um, well I've asked for things and I didn't get it so how is that true how is this right and um, and that's, that's a good question, too. We have all, at some point, done the same thing. I asked him, and I asked him, and I asked him. And he said no. He, he answers. He always answers. Sometimes he'll say no. Uh, a lot of times, it's not yet. He always answers. So it's kind of like um, when my middle daughter, Sarah, was itty-bitty. She wanted earrings, just like her big sister. And um, she was little, and she asked, and I would never have gone to just take her to, to get them without her wanting them, so she had to ask, first of all. And she asked, and I said, mm, no, not yet, not yet. Um, I don't think you're ready. So then she kept on asking, not that day, but later on, you know, a few weeks later, a few weeks later, she kept asking, and I kept, mm, I don't think so. I don't think you're ready. Because there's a lot involved. You know, when, when you get earrings, every day you've got to turn them, you have to wash back and front, and turn a couple times, two, three times a day you have to do that. It's a lot. So anyway, she kept asking and kept at it and kept at it, and I think she was getting more and more worked up about it. But at, at one point, it wasn't too much further down the road, she asked, and I, and I said, yeah, let's go get those. Let's do it today. And it wasn't that I changed my mind. I knew the first time she asked, she wasn't ready. And it wasn't that she grew up a lot. It wasn't like years down the road. I think she was in kindergarten. But in her asking over and over and over again, she was changing. She was understanding that, yeah, I actually do want this. This is something I want. And by the time I finally said, okay, now you can, now we can do it, she understood how important it was, and she took care of those earrings, or actually the holes. She took care of it, and it was special. If I'd have just said yes instead of making her wait, I don't know if she would have really understood how, how, what a big deal it was, how important it was. So, it, and that's what I think of when I think of God saying, not yet. It's not that he isn't changing his mind. He doesn't change. We are changing. I am changing. And 
but sometimes so much time goes down, you know, so much time passes between the first time that I ask and then later on I'll look at my, my prayer journal and see what I've asked for and I think, oh, I'm so glad I didn't get that as a yes. Oh, uh, we change. So our, our prayers are answered. It's just uh, a lot of times it's different. So keep praying, keep praying, keep in continual relationship, talking with him and, uh, and know that sometimes it's a not yet and you have to do the changing. So, all right, well, let's pray about it. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for you and your all-knowing, all-powerful being. You know all. You know us. You know our heart. You know who we were, who we are, and who we will be. And we thank you for that. We thank you for listening to our prayers and wanting us to talk to you. We thank you for your blessings, the blessings that you give us when we don't even ask. We thank you for when you say yes, and we're also thankful for when you say not yet or no. We only ask that when we are praying, that we remember that sometimes it will be a not yet or a no, and that we remember that you are good and you give good gifts and sometimes that gift is no the word no so we thank you for that and it is in your son's holy name that we pray amen have a good day ah